hello friends welcome back to my channel cam solution today we will discuss the second part of solution chapter in which we will discuss the colligative properties four of the colligative properties we will discuss okay so please be with me at the end of the video revision part is there please like and subscribe my channel let's begin okay uh, number one what are the colligative properties know what are the colligative properties which depends on the number of solute particles number of solute particles number of solute particles and their concentration number of solute particles and their concentration not the their nature it is independent of their nature but only depends on the number of solute how many solute number of solute particles are added that is known as colligative properties okay you can see here in the diagram there are less number of solute particles and here there are more number of solute particles so the colligative properties will show this solution okay because uh, it is dependent on the number of solute particles not it not its identity identity can be any it doesn't matter okay so colligative property there are four types of colligative properties are there number 1 is relative lowering of vapor pressure pressure relative lowering of vapor pressure second one is elevation of boiling point third one is depression of freezing point and fourth one is osmotic pressure we will discuss one by one so number 1 relative lowering of vapor pressure so as the name suggests relative lowering relative lowering means uh, there is some loss of vapor pressure is happening why because we are adding non volatile solute non volatile solute is added to a solvent so its vapor pressure will decrease okay uh, in the solution in the pure solution if we add non volatile solute its vapor pressure decreases so we have to find the difference between both what difference happen that is the relative lowering of vapor pressure you can see here non volatile solute is added to pure solvent then vapor pressure of solution decreases vapor pressure of solution is less than vapor pressure of solution is less than vapor pressure of solvent means this is the vapor pressure of pure solvent okay it will be more after adding the vapor pressure uh, sorry after adding the solute particles after adding the solute particles so it will be the it will be high and after the solution it will be the less okay so this will be the equation of relative lowering of pressure because it rehinders solute particles rehinders uh, steric hindrance happens and it uh, does not allow the uh, solvent particles to vaporize easily okay here you can see we, can, we will make the difference here p1 not minus p1 this is the for pure solution and this is for after adding the non volatile solute we will find the relative lowering okay p1 not is vapor pressure of pure solvent and p1 is vapor pressure of the solution you can see this structure here only solvent particle this is the pure and this is after adding after adding uh, non volatile solute okay non volatile solute so the here are only solvent particle here solute particles are added so it renders it uh, blocks the solvent particles to vaporize so its lower vapor pressure will be lowered okay i hope it is clear to you next moving towards the uh, formula of relative lowering of vapor pressure you know this is delta p is the change in vapor pressure that happens from before to after okay upon p not p not for is for pure so delta p is equal to change p not what was uh, before and uh, minus p what was after uh, adding non volatile solute upon p not is equal to this is the mole fraction this will be the mole fraction it will be equal to the mole fraction okay so you can see here this is the relative lowering of vapor pressure or you can write like this also delta p upon p not x2 is the mole fraction of the solute 
x2 uh, mole fraction you know if you want to find out the mole fraction of uh, two particles uh, one of the two particles um, suppose there are two particles a and b we have to find out the mole fraction of b then you have to add the formula nb is equal to nb is equal to na plus nb this will be the formula of mole fraction clear uh, mole fraction of that component is it is a ratio only and of the uh, whole component divided by the whole component so n2 upon n1 plus n2 here we are finding the second component okay n2 is equal to uh, weight upon molar weight upon second particle upon weight of the first particle molar weight of the first particle plus weight of the second particle upon weight of the molar weight of the second particle this is the relative lowering of vapor pressure here moving towards the next property of uh, polygonal property boiling point elevation boiling point elevation means elevation means increasing increase increase in boiling point okay so uh, after adding the non volatile solute uh, we have to increase the temperature so it can vaporize easily so uh, the boiling point will be increase the boiling point of mixture is higher than that of the boiling point of pure substance because after adding non volatile solute we are increasing the temperature to vaporize it easily okay the difference in the boiling point can be calculated by the equation this is the difference delta tb delta tb is the difference change in boiling point which uh, happens okay kb m and i tb is the change in boiling point kb is molar boiling constant molar boiling constant is, it is the constant m is the molality molality and i is the wants of factor wants of factor uh, we will discuss uh, in the next chapter in uh, uh, the detail uh, now i can uh, only tell you the definition of wants of factor what is the wants of factor the ratio of the concentration of particles formed when a substance is dissolved to the concentration of substance by mass you can also say i is equal to observed colligative property upon calculated cal colligative property okay so we will discuss is thoroughly wants of factor is important part you can see here the graph boiling point elevation how boiling point is increasing and how we are finding the difference you can see here this line this is the boiling point okay uh, of a solution we are taking uh, pressure and temperature both as we increase temperature pressure will also also increase so we are have to find the, this difference the difference uh, is it is for the pure or it and it is for the uh, solution after adding the non volatile solute we have to find this difference okay delta tb so it is increasing you can see you, it is uh, increasing as we increase the temperature vapor pressure also increase next coming to the part of the freezing point depression freezing point depression depression means uh, something get lowers okay what freezing point after adding the freeze uh, non volatile solute the freezing point will be less it will be get depressed because the so solute particles non volatile solute particles uh, renders inhibits the solvent from crystallizing okay so we can say the formula is delta t it, it is the change in freezing point i i have tell wants of vector kf will be the molar freezing constant m is the molarity okay you can see is the diagram this is the pure water and the freezing point is high and after adding the non volatile solute non volatile solute it freezing point will be less it will freeze at the less temperature okay so freezing point depression in uh, a pure substance is 1 atm uh, at the pressure of 1 atm after adding the non volatile solute freezing point uh, the normal freezing point will be less than the uh, solution of after adding the non volatile solute okay so freezing point is depressed when solute inhibits the solvent from crystallizing it inhibits it uh, stops the solvent particles to form the crystals when solution freezes the solute solid forms it al almost pure first uh, this is pure and after adding 
it will be um, the non volatile solid will be added and it renders the uh, solvent particles to form the crystals okay solid particles does not fit into the crystal lattice it does not fit uh, to the solvent size because size is different difference in the size the solute essentially remains in the solution and blocks other solvent from the fitting into the crystal lattice during the freezing point you can see here this is the of pure and this is of after adding the non volatile solute you can have to find the difference tf okay kf sorry kf okay. this is the freezing point depression moving to the next property osmotic pressure before moving to the next property we will have to discuss what is uh, first of all what is the osmosis osmosis means movement of solvent particle from lower to higher concentration through semi permeable membrane you have to understand first uh, osmosis semi permeable membrane the movement of uh, lower concentration to higher concentration solvent movement okay so there are three types of solution hypertonic isotonic and hypotonic in hypertonic you can see um, water is moving outside the cell so the cell will shrink cell will shrink because concentration is more outside then it will move from lower to higher okay it will shrink in isotonic the uh, concentration remains constant both and both both the side so uh, amount of water entering the cell and amount of water leaving the cell is equal so it is the isotonic solution clear hypotonic solution more amount of water is going into the cell so cell will uh, cell will swell up okay swell up because the concentration is high okay so uh, this is the three type of solution here uh, next moving towards the osmotic pressure so uh, osmotic pressure is the extra pressure we have to apply to stop osmosis you can see here uh, semi permeable membrane is there pure solvent is there and solution is there okay if uh, pure solvent is moving in this direction if we through semi permeable membrane if we uh, apply it the pressure here in this uh, in this area we will stop the osmosis okay so this is the osmo osmotic pressure it is uh, represented by pi m m is the molarity r is the gas constant gas constant whose value is 0.0806 okay so m is equal to number of moles of solute upon volume in liter you have to, you have known that the formula of molarity is this only so this will be the osmotic pressure okay i hope uh, you understand this four properties this is the revision part so in the next video i will uh, take the next part of the solution mons of factor and abnormal molar mass okay so be with me i hope you like the video and please like and subscribe my channel hope you are uh, studying for your uh, board exams so please be